Hello, Software Guy here with a new video. Today, I'll show you how to set up timer resolution in the most effective way possible to reduce input delay on your system, especially useful for gamers who want the smoothest experience possible. If you're playing competitive shooters or fast-paced games, even the smallest input delay can make a difference. Timer resolution can help lower that delay by increasing how often your system responds to input, but it needs to be set up properly. Let's get into it step by step. First, open your browser and click the download link I've included in the video description below. This will take you to the official timer resolution website. Once you're on the site, click the download button. It may redirect you to another screen. Just press download again if needed. The file is very small, so the download should only take a second or two. If your browser asks where to save the file, just pick any location you'll remember, like your desktop or downloads folder. Once the download finishes, navigate to where you saved the file. Right-click on the timerresolution.zip file, then select Extract All. Follow the prompts to extract it. After extraction, you'll see the file, timerresolution.exe. That's the one we'll be using. Before we make any changes, it's a good idea to create a system restore point. This lets you roll back your system in case anything doesn't work as expected. Now, go back to your extracted timerresolution.exe file. Right-click it and select Properties. Go to the Compatibility tab. First, check the box that says Run this program in Compatibility Mode 4 and choose Windows Vista from the drop-down. Then, check the box at the bottom that says Run this program as an administrator. Click Apply then OK to close the window. Now go ahead and double-click timerresolution.exe. You may get a user account control pop-up. Just click Yes to allow it. Once it opens, you'll see two values, current resolution and maximum resolution. If the current resolution is higher than 0.5 milliseconds, that means it's not running at full performance. Click the maximum button a few times. It should drop your current resolution down to 0.5 milliseconds, which is ideal. Now close timer resolution for now. We'll come back to it later. Now we'll enter a few safe system commands that help optimize timer behavior even further. Open the start menu, type command prompt, right click it, and select run as administrator. If you get a pop-up, click yes. Now paste these commands into the command window one at a time and press enter after each. If any of these return an error, don't worry. It just means your system may already be using the right settings. If they execute successfully, that's great. Once done, close the command prompt. Now, reopen timerresolution.exe, and once again, click the maximum button a few times. If everything went well, your current resolution should now be consistently running at 0.5 milliseconds. From now on, you'll want to launch timer resolution and hit maximum before starting any games. It won't apply automatically on boot, so make it part of your routine and make sure timer resolution stays running in the background while you play your games. You can minimize it, but don't close it, or the optimization won't work. And that's it. You've now optimized timer resolution for the lowest possible input delay. If this helped you, feel free to drop a like, subscribe, or share this video with a friend who plays games and wants that competitive edge. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.